Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be a new subscription box unboxing. I just filmed my Ipsy and Play by Sephora for the month of July. If you guys want to check them out, I will make sure to link them in the description box below. And I was going to film this all in one video, but I wasn't sure how long this video would take. So I thought I would film it separately and then I guess we'll kind of see from here if I film it all in one video from now on or if you guys even want me to film like a monthly unboxing of this box. So Macy's is coming out with a new subscription service. I think from like my research they used to have one and then they took a break and then they're kind of rebooting it and they are coming out with the Macy's Beauty Box. So this is what the box looks like that mine came in. I just kind of undid the top so I could open it up for easy access for this video but I wanted to film an unboxing for you. I did sign up for my own subscription so it will be coming every single month but they also decided to send me one which was really nice of them and I said yes because I figured it might get here a little bit sooner that way I can share it with you guys before you know too many people get on the list and maybe there's like a wait list as of right now there is not a wait list so if you sign up the first box that you'll get is next month's box which is really convenient so if you decide you want to try it then I would recommend signing up in case they do kind of form a wait list just depending on what's inside or if you think it's worth it I don't know what's inside yet because I haven't unboxed it I thought I would do that on camera with you guys but just some background info Macy's Beauty Box is a monthly subscription service so you get five deluxe beauty samples and one bonus sample every single month and you also get a cute makeup bag so it's kind of similar to Ipsy and Play by Sephora it's a little bit more it costs $15 a month and then you also get a $5 beauty coupon that you can use online on Macy's website or in stores toward a beauty purchase so it is a little bit more expensive but you also get that $5 beauty coupon if you regularly buy beauty products at Macy's you have that little you know coupon if you don't it might be something to think about so it came in this box that I got delivered to my door it says Macy's beauty box and you open it up and you actually get everything inside this really cute makeup bag. I assume they're going to switch up the bag every month just like reading from the website. It sounds like you get different ones and I will say that this bag is so cute. I feel like it's a lot more high quality than the bags that I usually get in Ipsy or Play by Sephora. It could be because it is the first box or you know maybe they do include better bags. I guess we'll see as time goes on but this one says the in crowd. It comes with a cute like little makeup illustration on the front and then you open it up and everything is packed inside this tissue paper. So I haven't opened this up, so we'll see together what they include. They do include a really helpful info card, which I appreciate. Not all subscriptions do that, but I like to have the information right in front of me, probably because I film these videos, so I feel like it's a little bit more helpful so I can give you guys more info. But it has all of the products as well as a description of them, and then also my $5 off coupon code. So that's really nice to have. If you guys are new to my channel, I do only buy cruelty-free makeup, but I still film subscription box unboxings from time to time. I feel like a lot of boxes do include a lot of cruelty-free products and I think it's a good way to discover new cruelty-free brands and then bring awareness to cruelty-free brands in the products. So if people are watching these videos, they might not even realize which brands are cruelty-free and which ones are not. So I like to share that info. And then any products that are not cruelty-free, I donate to a women's shelter. So somebody who really needs the products can still get use out of them. That being said, I don't expect these subscription boxes to be cruelty-free, but I still like to share that information on my channel just so you guys know. So the reason I said that is because the first product that I saw is from MAC Cosmetics. It is their False Lashes Extreme Black. That's what it says on the packaging, but I assume it's mascara. I've never tried a MAC mascara. I really haven't tried a lot of MAC products in general just because I only started using them like right before I decided to go cruelty free, but I do know that Macy's sells MAC. So if that appeals to you, that might be a nice change because a lot of the subscription boxes do not include MAC Cosmetics. So the card says that it is an intensely inky, lightweight, mousse-like form. Formula. The packaging is interesting for a mascara, but I'll figure out how much each sample is worth and put it on the screen for you guys. But like I said, if it appeals to you that they include MAC Cosmetics, it might be a promising subscription service. One of my favorite brands is Tarte Cosmetics, and they did include the Tarte Maracuja Oil. So it comes in a little package like this. Let me open it up. The packaging is really cute. It looks like the full-size product, just kind of miniaturized. So I've heard really good things about this. I don't think I've personally tried it just because I haven't tried a lot of their skincare products, but I know a lot of people like it. Some people will mix it into their foundation. Some people will use it as a serum. So I will definitely give it a shot. It says that it is rich in brightening vitamin C and replenishing essential fatty acids. It's supposed to hydrate and protect your skin. So I do really like like serums. I don't usually use a whole lot of like 
oils on my face, but I feel like it could be beneficial, especially during the winter time. So I will definitely give it a shot. If you guys have tried this and you like it, you'll have to let me know in the comments below. The next product is from Benefit Cosmetics, which is not cruelty free, but I have tried this product in the past and I definitely think it is a good product. It is the Gimme Brow and it's a volumizing fiber gel. So it's kind of like a brow gel, but it actually has brow fibers in it. So it makes your brows look a little bit more thick and voluminous and it just locks them into place all day long. So I do like this product. I have tried it. I've actually purchased the full size before I decided to go cruelty free and it is a good product so I like that they included it. I just wish Benefit would go cruelty free so that is the third product. Next we have something from Smashbox. It is their Cover Shot Golden Hour Eyeshadow Duo. So I actually do have this palette. I have a few of these palettes and I think they are really nice for travel because they're a little bit smaller and they have like a good theme to them. So some of them are really light, some of them are really smoky. This one comes with the shadows turned on and psyched and they're really beautiful. I feel like you could use these to create an entire eye look which is really nice and it comes with a little mirror like this packaging is so good for an eyeshadow duo a lot of times when subscription boxes include eyeshadows they're in like really cheap plastic packaging so I appreciate how they package this I do really like this product I think it's a great product so I am excited they included this in the box as well the next product in here is from philosophy it is the purity made simple facial cleanser I really like this product I've gone through it a few times over the years because I've been using it for probably like four or five years I don't currently use it but I've used it in like different phases where my skin has been like dry, oily, sensitive, and no matter what, I feel like it works really well for me. So I do feel like it's an all around good product. I know it is like a cult favorite, so I think it's great they included it. I think they included a lot of like well-known name brands and a lot of really popular products, which I appreciate. And then I assume this product is the bonus product. I don't like when subscriptions include a perfume sample as one of the products, but when they include it as a bonus, I feel like it's just like a nice little extra touch to throw it in there. So this is by the brand Carolina Herrera and it is the Ascent Good Girl. Oh, this one smells really good. It's kind of like a fresh, I wouldn't say fruity, I would say floral perfume, and it's not too intense or too dark. It definitely smells like a daytime scent to me. So the card says that it has sweet jasmine, cocoa, and rich tonka bean. It says that it is freshly light and moodily dark. I definitely get like a light vibe from it, but I feel like it is a little bit stronger than like my typical go-to daytime perfume. So if you're looking for something kind of unique, that might be a great option for you. Okay guys, so that's everything they included. I hope this video wasn't too rushed. I actually have to run off to the orthodox honest right now. So really quickly, let me give you my final thoughts. I like that they included so many well-known name brand products. There are some good higher end quality brands in here and just some well-known products that I think a lot of people love that are cult favorites. I don't know how it will be every month. So if you still want to see these videos, just let me know. The theme this month was the in crowd. So I feel like they did purposefully include just well-known products, which I think is great. I think the sample sizes are consistent with other subscription boxes. I don't know if I would call a lot of them deluxe size samples. I might just call them samples, but this philosophy product is definitely a deluxe size sample. So um, I feel like they are on par with like the play by Sephora sizes. It says that you can go online at macy's.com slash beauty box for how to videos, tips, and more. And then it does say there is free shipping on all beauty orders, no minimum purchase. So I do feel like that is a nice touch because if you do want to buy something and use your $5 off coupon, you don't have to pay for shipping and you don't have to have a minimum. So that definitely changes my mind about the coupon. I feel like that will definitely definitely come in handy. So I do feel like it is a good subscription service. You guys will have to let me know what you think in the comments below. I think you have to decide for yourself whether or not it's worth that extra $5 compared to Play by Sephora or Ipsy. I do feel like they could have came in around the $10 range, but I do think the $5 coupon does kind of make up for that $5 increase in purchase. I think you just have to decide whether or not that coupon is worth it to you. For me personally, I don't know if I would continue to pay $15 for these samples since they're kind of on par with Play by Sephora samples and you don't get any Anything full size but I guess we'll see I do want to stay subscribed for a few more months so I can really decide whether or not I think it's worth the $15 I do think the bag was significantly nicer than the bag they include in play by Sephora or Ipsy so that's kind of like a nice extra touch and the brands are just well-known brands that you can find at Macy's which I think is really nice as well so like I said I will stay subscribed for a few more months so I can decide whether or not it is worth it you guys will have to let me know in the comments below though if you're going to subscribe or if you think it is better than Ipsy or play by Sephora or not because I love hearing your opinions. Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.